Uh, former House Speaker Paul Ryan among a growing number of prominent Republicans who warn that former President Trump would drag down the ticket if he runs for president in 2024. Ryan saying, quote, we know we're so much more likely to lose with Trump because of the fact that he is not popular with suburban voters that we're going to want to win. And Mr. Trump's former VP, Mike Pence, recently indicating he'd rather have someone else run, possibly himself. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush also saying the party needs to be focused on the future. Julia Manchester, national political reporter for The Hill, joining me right now. You know, we saw a similar distancing of some Republicans uh, from uh, former President Trump back in 2016, but it seemed to just strengthen his base. What is the dynamic like now? Yeah, it's interesting, Adrian. You mentioned Jeb Bush, and he was running against President Trump in 2016, and clearly that didn't work out. Look, I think right now, over four years later, four years later, excuse me, or over four years later, since 2016, you are seeing President Trump maybe still popular with the party, but he has a lot more baggage. He has that baggage, baggage he accumulated as president. He has the events of January 6th on his shoulders. He has all these legal issues he's facing. So I think you have a lot of Republicans looking in on this and Republican leaders. And I will say the leaders that we're talking about, Mike Pence, Paul Ryan, Jeb Bush, these are Trump critics. These aren't necessarily current uh, Republican leaders in the party who are, you know, in charge of policymaking and such. You are seeing, um, you know, them warn that this baggage could weigh Trump down and give more fodder to Democrats. The question is whether those in the Republican base on the ground in these various swing states will go along with that. It seems like they've remained pretty loyal to Trump, but various polls show that there is cracks in Trump's support. In fact, we see figures like Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis continuing to raise his stock among voters across the country in the Republican Party. So it's something we'll definitely be keeping an eye on. Well, let's talk about DeSantis a little bit. Colorado Senate race becoming this unlikely flashpoint. GOP candidate uh, Joe O'Day saying that former President Trump should not run in 2024. The former president calling him out on Truth Social. Then GOP favorite Ron DeSantis, uh, Florida's governor, endorsing O'Day. How big of a deal is all this? You know, it shouldn't normally be a big deal because you would expect that an incumbent Republican governor, a rising leader in the party, would want to endorse a candidate who is uh, running a very good campaign, a competitive campaign in a relatively blue state. That shouldn't come as a surprise. However, what makes it interesting is that President Trump is attacking a Republican who very well could have a hand in uh, determining the Senate majority. He has a tough uh, uphill climb in a very blue state, but you would think that Republican leaders would want to rally around Joe O'Day because he's gotten so much national attention, so much um, stock is growing in Colorado, but you have this divide. And I think this is, shows yet again another crack forming between Trump and Ron DeSantis, who really used to be like two peas in a pod. I mean, without Trump, there really may not be Ron DeSantis as we know him. He, we know that we, he got a lot of his political influence from President Trump as he uh, grew his national profile. So it's a clear definitive, definitive split there. Okay, let's talk about besides the fact that DeSantis is clearly somebody that isn't ruled out for the potential 2024 run. Are there any other establishment Republican candidates? There are um, other potential establishment Republican candidates. Mike Pence, Nikki Haley, who has been campaigning with a number of, uh, um, of competitive Republican candidates in states like where I am in Pennsylvania. She was with Dr. Oz yesterday. Mike Pompeo, the former Secretary of State. Christy Noem, the governor of South Dakota. Um, the list really goes on and on. Larry Hogan, for example, the um, outgoing governor of Maryland. So there are a number of different um, potential Republican uh, challenges to Trump if he decided to run. But the question is whether he runs and whether these challengers really stand a chance. He still has a considerable amount of influence in the party. That's right. And prominent Republicans, including Lindsey Graham and Congresswoman Elise Stefanik, said that they do support a Trump 2024 run. Julia, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.